doing when it blows up. But. Oh, yeah, it's just going to suck I can't hear it. Um, the whole purpose is not to have a picture. Right. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, uh, ahas for Jesse's bite rolls class. I got a lot of beliefs in teaching. Speak loudly. Um, like, I Lots of useful teaching material. Like what? For instance. Uh, um, a lot of the, the input that people were saying about um, exercises and specific things to do, I think um, talking about the connection and just sort of things that we've seen that are good, things that we've seen that are bad, I think it was a great discussion about um, just techniques and tips, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, specifically, uh, yeah, there was something, but yeah, never mind. Somebody else got I got one. Um, it was Brenda's drill where, like, yeah. she uh, put, put her hands oh, on, the leads, yeah, on the lead's uh, stomach yeah. to feel his center and feel the lead of the body welcoming through that point, and then she moved her hands up towards until she came into a closed embrace. And, uh, and had the lead coming through that. Um, it's open. I, oh, open? Oh, and it even went to open. Sure sure. uh, yeah, okay. Mihai's version of open embrace, my version of close. <laughs> um, but I was even thinking to take it into a two hand thing. Um, thing like too. Open, like just like to go all the way Yeah, go all the way out. Like so I like the idea of going from uh, stomach to or center, to chest, shoulders been feeling it in like an open embrace um, and then into an open connection to that position. Um, I really appreciated the, uh, the idea of taking something that's kind of uh, taking something that's kind of taboo and actually ask repeatedly asking and I'm very very much clarifying like what how can we teach it with good technique? Yeah, as opposed to just giving up on it, so that's, that's a great thing that can be applied to probably more than viral. I totally agree. How can we teach these moves and still have it be like, this is how you would do this move, if you really have to do it, then try to do it more in this kind of way as opposed to, uh, you know, highly sexualized or really it. What I like is that you know, if with a class like this, we're discussing something that's quote unquote taboo or not such a great idea for people to do on a social dance floor. What it always comes down to is all roads lead to connection, yeah. and that just seemed to be the bottom line for me for the class. And I thought actually uh, Jesse did a really good job in directing us and focusing us in such a way that I think we all kind of came to that conclusion together. You know, taste is still a separate issue, but in terms of physically, whatever you're going to do, what once you decide to do it for whatever reason, what it comes down to is doing it. Connection and, and doing it in a way that your partner gets it comfortably. Yeah. Speak up, please. I thought I love the African warm up and then the body rolls to, to move across the floor. That's just a really cool. I've never seen somebody um, break body rolls down and actually string them together that way. Yeah, you guys didn't get to see the door. Yeah, yeah. You want to show the drill? 
Exactly. You know, it's such a great thing for classes. A big part of my teaching technique is to amuse as well as inform. So what you want to do is like pretend there's a door here. You take the door handle, open it, so now you've got the edge of the door. And let's pretend that that's it. There's a door handle here, door handle here. This is the edge of a, a very thick door. So one of the things that you can do to get people to isolate, and actually Brenda hinted at this with the wall, is, uh, or is a stair here, but you would take one foot slightly ahead of the, the face of the wall, one foot behind, just so you can work on the shift from weight changes, but also get the roll. And so the idea is that you want to have a pencil or a pen that's going to essentially, as you go back, roll down your body, and you're just working each little bit, and then the end is going to pop. So the idea is that if you have this flat surface, you can practice with it, and then essentially what you're doing is working on going down, and up. And so when you start to isolate the hips and do various motions, you, know, you end up essentially humping a door, which will keep your students amused for years. <laughs> and then you have to tell them to not hump your partner. But we, we really do that for open freestyle body walls, which we do a lot of like side to side, like if you're a facing audience. And this is more like a West Coast swing thing, that's why you're facing audience. We did a whole uh, news class in Connecticut about this. Is doing stuff side by side and getting imitation going on the forward backwards. So you, I just want to stress that put it into a context that it's not about pumping someone or facing someone while you're doing it. Yeah. Any other hands? I like the, also yeah, the idea of tapping each part of your body down or like almost like walking your fingers down your body as you do the body roll, you know, each part getting pushed backward. Oh, I, uh, I also really appreciate Lester's comment and funk. I mean, it's, it seems pretty obvious that, that uh, the music that's from your body roll is funk, but I never actually articulated it before. And so it's like, how can you make it music? When, when is it appropriate? I think that's how we were talking about musicality of it as well. Yeah. I think it's, a, I just think that's important to teach musicality in every class. I also thought for this, uh, the one tenth, doing one tenth. Yes, oh, I love that. I love that. I think that's really, really great. Really important. Yeah. Leave it. Just to follow up on the musicality <laughs> thing, I think if you're going to teach body roles, also <laughs> choreograph it to the music so people understand. It's not just talk about the music, but actually choreograph the class so that people understand what you're doing and why. So you know, like, where, where it fits. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. 